Think of this as like giving your browser an alter ego. Starting with iOS 17, using separate Safari profiles makes shifting between work, school, and personal stuff a lot easier. I'm Chris the CyberGuy. Follow me at cyberguy.com and sign up for my free newsletter. iOS 17 now gives you the ability to create different profiles when you go to Safari and use it for browsing. Imagine you're, say, in the middle of redoing your house. You've got a bunch of web pages open about paint colors, another web page open about furniture design ideas. And then, as life does, you got to get back to work. Safari profiles will now let you instantly shift from home reno mode to work mode or school mode. Instead of a mountain of tabs from every aspect of your life littering your browsing and sort of mixing with that side of your brain, these now work to consolidate that. These profiles will appear on any device that you're signed into with your Apple ID so you can keep your computer and phone organized. Each profile has separated a lot of the components, the history on your browser, website data, tab groups, and favorites. This is great because you can keep all your personal preferences separate from your work or school stuff. On your iPhone, here's how to make it happen. Go to Settings, click Safari, then tap New Profile. Click on Name, enter a name for this profile, then choose an icon and color. Below Settings, tap Favorites to choose a Bookmarks folder. Tap Open New Tabs and choose the page you want new tabs to open to. While in Safari, you can easily move between profiles. On your iPhone, open the Safari app. Tap the Tabs button on the bottom right. It's the icon with the squares overlapping each other. Then tap the arrow facing down. Tap Profile, then select the profile you want to use. You can also delete a profile at any time, but keep in mind that this action cannot be undone. Here's how to do it. Go to Settings, Safari, then tap a profile. Tap Delete Profile. Safari profiles also work on Mac with Safari in very similar ways. Sign up for my free newsletter here at cyberguy.com and you'll learn a whole bunch more.